Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment and as you can see today it's a bit of a grey overcast afternoon. It has really been all day. Light starting to uh, fade a little bit now as it starts getting dark so I thought it was about time that I, I recorded something for you. But uh, lots of jobs uh, done today, sort of lots of weeding, uh, some tidying up, some general odd jobs tends to be the way of things in the sort of autumn, winter time, you know, but yeah, quite a nice afternoon for mid-November really. But of course I am here to talk about whiskey. I am here to um, share with you my allotment dram for today. And today I've actually picked uh, another one of our minis, these little samples that we get sent, and it's the Jura Winter Edition. So this is a, a brand new whiskey, came out, uh, what, a month or two ago, and uh, it's the second uh, expression in a cask edition series that Jura have uh, started. This series really is designed to highlight the roles of different cast types in the maturation of uh, the Jura spirit. Uh, the first one was released, what, start of this year, uh, 2020, uh, and was a red wine uh, finish. Uh, this one, the winter edition, is um, American white oak to begin with, and then finished in uh, ex sherry cast. So, um, yeah, just uh, uh, sent to us for a review on the blog, which um, we've done, and I will uh, put the link below on YouTube. Um, but uh, what can I tell you about Jura in a nutshell? It was started or uh, founded in 1810 by a gentleman called Archibald Campbell and uh, it was originally called Small Isles Distillery and this is because it sits on the uh, bay uh, in Craig House uh, and looks out over uh, different, lots of different little um, islands and rocks that are in this bay. It makes it very difficult for uh, boats and uh, like fishing boats or the ferry uh, to come in. Basically the, the ferry comes in much further up the coast from Craig House actually. So all these small little islands and uh, rocks just in the, the bay there at Craig House. So it's originally called Small Isles Distillery because of that. And then it had a period of closure, the early 1900s to the 1960s. It was closed for that whole period. And then um, it only became Jura actually when it was re sort of founded, basically built back up from the from the ground and um, then was called Jura and uh, began production again in 1963. And then even for the brands that we sort of know today, the Jura, um, that you know, is a very popular single malt brand. It's only really started coming to be when White and Mackay took over, which was in the sort of uh, mid 1990s, 1993 actually. So particularly in the last sort of 10 or 15 years, they've put a big sort of boot behind it and really helped to establish it as one of the, the best selling single malt brands. So you know, it's always exciting when we see sort of new edition coming out. So let's try the winter edition without further ado. I've got my uh, little glass here. It's a little bottle, so we have a little glass. There we go, just a little little bit for the tasting. And so let's have a look at this. You can see sort of a nice golden, golden color, quite deep gold there. And uh, let's have a smell. Yeah, it's quite lovely. Yeah, some honey and vanilla straight away there. But also some green apple, like a, it's like a stewed, slightly cooked apple. There, and then there's some lovely sort of dark dried fruits coming through as well. It's a raisin and a sultana in particular. A little bit of like the candied orange peel there as well. So let's let's have a taste. Mm. Yeah, it's really soft quite creamy actually and uh, yeah very gentle 
but got quite a nice richness to it. And the dark dried fruits come through first here actually and it's added to with a little bit of, sort of toffee, a butterscotch, something like that. But yeah, these raisins and sultanas in particular and then just a little bit of that candied orange peel as well. And uh, then underneath there's this sort of honey and vanilla and just a little sort of pinch of baking spices, cinnamon and uh, sort of allspice in, in, in particular. But let, let, let's have another taste. Mmm. Yeah. Just, um, yeah, just so soft and just, yeah, got a lovely, sweet, gentle sort of feel to it. Just, um, yeah, very, very nice. And, yeah, what uh, this is sold in a litre bottle. It's uh, available in the UK in uh, various supermarkets. Released for you know the Christmas uh, sort of festive trade, but um, no idea sort of how how many bottles there are or whatever. But released in litre bottles, around forty-ish pounds. So you know, not too bad for that. Um, don't think at all. And uh, yeah, very flavoursome and um, just getting a tiny hint of that salted caramel or something now sort of in the background but um, yeah absolutely delicious um, and just so soft so you know if you're looking for a Christmas present I mean you, you know for someone who you don't really know their taste but this has got a nice level of richness and sweetness and enough interest just to you know cover a lot of bases I think so yeah, that's about it. So for myself and the the Jura, uh, the winter edition, this little mini that I've got um, before it gets too dark, uh, I've got one or two more jobs to do. So um, we'll bid you farewell. And until next time, we say thanks for watching. Cheers.